Hello all, good afternoon and good evening. Uh, today I will be presenting how we can install LAPAC and BLAST libraries in the typical Linux system. Uh, I am again using my Ubuntu 16.04. First of all, you have to take a package on the net netlib.org and the original website looks like this. When you see netlib.org, this is the front page of netlib.org and you can browse the repo or just quickly click on the LAPAC part. So this is one of the most famous uh, library for different varieties of scientific and engineering calculations. Okay, so let's click here the LAPAC libraries. So this is the page of the LAPAC linear algebra package. Okay, it is the short form is the LAPAC. Now you can click the latest version which is right here let me click and there is a download link when you click here then you can save this file as a lapac version and which is right here okay so we have the lapac file and the first thing is on tar this file the command is again tar minus zx vf today i will be doing verbose extraction and the file name itself okay so let's do it so extraction is completed and you see there is a folder lapac with the version okay let's go inside the folder and ls so here there is no configure script unlike to the Fourier transform library okay however the templates are provided inside the install folder let's have a look install and there are some templates which are starting from the make.inc name okay and uh, this is for the last one is the machine specific or compiler specific so here this is alpha machine this is gnu fortran and this is intel fortran compiler and this is pg fortran compiler and sgi son so there are different compiler categories provided as a template however we might need slight changes on them okay let's go back to the root folder and i will copy that uh, in gnu fortran part make that inc dot G Fortran and I will change the name to make.inc while copying to the root folder of the LAPAC library. Okay, so this is it. Now, when do ALS, then this is the file I copied. Okay, now I, I have to edit this file a little bit. The first is the cell, change the cell as your requirement, such as I use bash before if you use ss yes, then no need to change that part so you are good and there is the blast library name i have to slightly modify so that it will be standard and easily picked by many packages so libblast.a okay there is no other change necessary and i will be going out and by the way i am using vi editor here and uh, in the vi editor you will be saving and quit by colon wq okay so good now the next is compile make space blastly first we compile the blast and then we compile the lapac okay sorry l a s b blastly make space blastly and it will compile the blast library and if you want to compile in two cores then you can do minus j2 let me see how it takes it typically does not take much time as a, this library is not bigger and by the way it does the calculations between vector and vector matrix and vector and matrix and matrix in single precision real numbers 
double precision real number, single precision complex number, and sim single precision double number. Okay, um, and there is a very nice file name convention. Any file which starts from later years is the single precision. Any file which starts from D, so although these are object file, not a source code, but uh, the naming convention is same in source file. Okay, and the D starts that means double precision real number. Whatever file starts with C, letter C, is the single precision complex number, and those files which starts from Z are the complex but double precision okay so this is how it works and yes the compilation and linking is done and we have the library file libblast.a as we just change in the make.inc file okay after this when you do ls you will see this file name like this here so next phase is the compile actual lapac library the command is make lapac lib okay and again i am doing by two and it might take some while but i will not show you all the steps in the middle and i will go to the result later on okay okay it's done so I can see that a library has been created libblapac.a now we have two library one is libblast.a next is libblapac.a so we are typically done and uh, I would like to share that I am not a professional content creator nor any celebrity I am just a faculty member at the Department of Physics, Kathmandu University, and my motive is to teach the scientific computation in a very simple way so that a layman also can understand how it works and uh, what are the workflow of computation. Okay, so on this regard these two libraries one is BLAS and another is LAPAC are very important library it will expedite our coding especially in the operations of vectors matrix and vector and matrix matrix operations to the another level so that uh, our focus will be not on the on this part and it will entirely handled by the library but however we should know how to call this library within our code that is what the next part and um, in one day I will definitely cover that part but um, in this series of videos I am particularly working on the installation of quantum espresso uh, density functional package so next video will be on the density functional package that is a quantum espresso and next I will be working on the parallel co compilation of quantum espresso as well but that may be gathered on same video if it is not too long so I would not like to bore you too much so where we keep these two files I will show you the path so this is the path basically let me show you one path it is not a command okay it is just a path usr l o c a l local and leave so this is the path i will be keeping these two dot a files so that our quantum espresso and many other packages such as quantum espresso like to do that will look this standard location of um, manually compiled library okay such as this this is the manual compilation it is not installed by apt-get command or um command in um, centos or rocky linux so this is the path and to our in order to keep this path you need a root privilege so you have to do sudo 
is the CSU and give the password so and then copy those I will use wildcard by the way for a shortcut star.a that means libblast.a and liblapak.a at the same time okay I am not writing in them individually usr local and lib so in this path I am copying these two files in a single sort way using a wild card that card is star and dot a so I copy it and I will not be a root it is very risky to be a root and work on your computer so I now I am as a normal user let's go to that path and see whether that has been copied and if it is copied then we are done so that's it so we can see leave lapac a right here and leave lapac a is also right here so this is it this is how I install the we can install and uh, if you have any questions or other suggestions please leave me a comment so that I will be make the videos that you want to see and you want to learn thank you very much for watching and definitely I would love to you subscribe this channel and uh, share like and hit the bell icons again I am not a professional content creator I am just a university faculty so there might be many uh, what to say not very stylish presentation of this but uh, as a context content wise I am